Hey coaches, welcome back to the channel Football HQ with Coach K. Going to do a quick video today about um, a play that you can install very easily. Um, it's a great wrinkle if you're an air raid spread guy. You can also run it with a tight end or a sniffer, whatever you like. I've covered this um, as a bigger part of Oklahoma's offense in previous videos. Go check those out. There's the bell. Um, also, I've got those in some of the playbooks that um, are below if you want to check those out as well. Um, please do so. So let's go to what I call the shallow pick concept um, that a lot of teams are running these days. Uh, it would be great for you to install. Let's do it now. So we're going to look at how Oklahoma runs it, which is kind of what this channel is all about, as we look at the Oklahoma offense in a lot of different ways on here. Also got a great rundown of the Baylor offense in 2014 that you can check out. But um, let's look at Oklahoma running it. Uh, here it is drawn up on huddle. All right. And you see you're looking at, so you've just got some vertical releases on the outside. Um, and then your H is going to get, it can be an H, could be a tight end, could be a wing, whatever you want. It could be, you know, it could be the slot right here whatever you want, he is going to set a pick right here. Now it's legal because your Y or your, whichever slot receiver you want to do with, you can do it either way, of course, is going to show an action as though he's going to do a shallow cross, but he's going to kind of break back as your lineman, um, you know, really get a deep set and he's going to catch the ball at the line of scrimmage. So therefore it's really, um, it's, it's legal for your, for somebody to block downfield. So you're setting the screen on the defender that can really challenge this play. Um, you've got the running back in there, uh, kind of in a hot route situation, running what we call a shoot. Um, if you do get a blitz that you can't take that you can't take care of, um, you've got that as well. So your quarterback's got two options. One thing I've found recently that I've noticed some people doing, and it's not my idea, but I like, is again I've used Go Army Edge a lot. But let's look at it this way: um, you uh, you telestrate the play, and this could be your playbook. So here it is, just like Huddle, but this looked a little a little fancier with the. Um, you know, with the players drawn in there and it's, you know, not just um, not just circles and X's and all that kind of stuff. So here it is again, the same thing though. You've got, um, you've got vertical releases for the outside receivers. Um, again, I've got him as a wing back this time and he could be a tight end and then you just move him off the ball. Um, somebody that can block pretty well in space and probably your fastest guy right here. So let's look at Oklahoma running it. Um, again, I've shown this in a previous video but I wanted to focus on this one play right now. Okay, here you have it. Oklahoma likes to run it, run it from a hash back to the field. And again, they have a wing back, as I showed you um, from the Go Army Edge view. Um, Kansas State just playing kind of a 4-3, 4-2-5 look, which is their base defense, and getting a nice cover four. Not really seeing a blitz here. Notice the ball's on the 46-yard line. Let's start by watching what we call the Y receiver right here. And he releases and shows that he's going to run a, a kind of more of a shallow cross. But then he quickly goes from the 42 and catches the ball at the 41 yard line. There's your block timed up well, but it doesn't matter because he's in the backfield. You've run off the, uh, the corner here. The safety is nowhere to be seen. And you've got a big gain right there. So now watch the action from instead of watching the receiver. Okay, watch the wing back right here to the field. He shows just a brief pass protection look, perhaps just to get some eyes off of him. And then he's, and he gets right to the linebacker who was um, dropping to his zone. His uh, prep gets hooked to curl and you get a pretty big, easy gain, really. I mean, it's a very easy pitch and catch, 19 yard pickup. Okay, here's the end zone view. Again, watch, shows a little bit of pass pro, just gets his hand on the end. And now he's headed downfield, stumbles, but gets a good angle for his block. The ball is caught. Again, this guy is running. Um, horizontally he is he is not getting upfield he is full speed so he can outrun anybody that might come after him and then he gets then he turns the corner um, so it's a shallower shallow cross catch the ball at the line of scrimmage get a block downfield um, just a great easy play to execute if you watch this year's um, Oklahoma bowl game you saw them execute this play very well um, in that game um, against Florida okay, here we are in the cotton bowl and if you watch now Oklahoma is going to do it from a trip set. They're going to look for the single receiver again from the boundary going to the field. And the big block this time is going to come right here. And again, he, he makes a point. There's the block. 
to catch it behind the line of scrimmage and he outruns everybody and there's nobody. It's just that simple. Get some blocks downfield and he is gone for a touchdown. So um, shallow pick, great play, would be easy to install. Let me know if you have it, if you've used it, or if you're going to, please like and subscribe and come back. Appreciate you stopping by. <laughs>